let us pray. God of the empty tomb, through the raising of your Son, you have brightened our darkness with light. You have silenced our fears with hope. You have defeated our dying with life. Christ is risen. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I greet you with the joyful words of Easter. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. As Lent began, we left the past in ashes. We turned away from what had held us back. We prayed against discouragement and defeat. And we decided to seek signs of the future God was preparing for us. And yet, since then, not much has changed in the circumstances of our lives. The world has remained a place of pain. We are not yet fully out of the COVID pandemic. Many of us have been ill or have lost our loved ones. Poverty continues, crime and violence and corruption go on. The war in Europe has merely added to our fears. The nations are in tumult, as Psalm 2 verse 1 puts it. How can we celebrate God's lavish love for humanity at a time like this? At a time when we are filled with fear and uncertainty. On the first resurrection day, the disciples too were filled with fear. Their world too was a place of pain. They too lived in a violent society. They were hiding behind locked doors, terrified for their lives. Jesus had been their master, their teacher, and their hope for the future. Now he was gone, dead, and their hope had died with him. They were terribly afraid, and they had no idea how to go on. But when the risen Christ appeared to them, they were forever changed. The death of Jesus had been swallowed up in victory. The resurrection had changed everything. Their darkness was brightened by light. Their fears were silenced by hope. They became bold witnesses of the risen Christ. Witnesses who faced persecution and even martyrdom. Such was the power of the resurrection in their lives. That's why we remember them in the Easter season every year by reading their stories in the book of Acts. Yes, the nations are in tumult. Yes, our world is a place of pain. We too have been afraid and uncertain about the future. We too have wondered how we could go on. But Jesus' resurrection changed everything for us too. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Even in the midst of our fears and our uncertainties, because of the resurrection, we can say with St. Paul, where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? And we can also say, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. At a time like this, we can celebrate God's lavish love for humanity because the resurrection changed everything. We are no longer people of fear, hiding behind locked doors. We have become people of hope, bold witnesses of the risen Lord. The resurrection changed everything for us. Hallelujah. Amen.